in this video, I will illustrate how to find the derivative of a function using the differentiation rules. Let's begin. First rule, derivative of a constant function. The derivative of a constant, let's say c, is equal to 0. That is, the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. Example, given f of x equals 10, its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 0. Next, power rule. For the power rule, we have derivative of x raised to n is equal to n x raised to n minus 1. x is the variable and n is the exponent. Essentially, we just need to bring the exponent down as a coefficient. So we have n, then we have copy the variable x and subtract 1 from the exponent, n minus 1. Example, f of x equals x raised to 5. Its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to bring down the exponent as a coefficient, 5. Then copy the variable and minus 1 from the exponent, 4. So the derivative is 5x raised to 4. Next, constant multiple rule. The derivative of a constant c times the function f of x is equal to the constant times the derivative of the function. Basically, it says that in differentiating constant times a function, you take out uh, the constant c and then differentiate the function. For example, f of x equals 10 times x raised to 5, so its derivative f prime of x is simply copy 10 and then get the derivative of x raised to 5. So using the power rule, its derivative is bring down 5 as a coefficient, copy the base or copy the variable and then subtract 1 from the exponent. So now this is equal to 5 times 10 is 50 and then x raised to 4. So this is the derivative. Rule number four, sum or difference rule. The derivative of f plus or minus g is equal to the derivative of f plus or minus the derivative of g. Essentially, it says that the derivative of the sum is equal to the derivative of its terms. That is also applicable for the difference. So example, f of x equals x squared plus 3. The derivative is equal to the derivative of x squared, so which is 2x using the power rule, and the derivative of 3 is 0, so this is the final answer. Now, we're going to consider more examples. Uh, I wrote down the differentiation rules on the top to serve as our guide in solving the following items. So now let's find the derivative of the following function. Given number 1 is f of x equals 5x cubed minus 2x squared. So the derivative f prime of x is equal to... So we have derivative of uh, difference. So we simply get the derivative of the first term and then minus the derivative of the second term. For the first term, we will apply the constant multiple rule uh, where it says that we simply... To find the derivative, we simply copy the constant so and differentiate the function. So x cubed using the power rule, the derivative is equal to 3x squared. And then we have minus. Same with the first term, we simply need to copy the coefficient. So we have 2. And then the derivative of x squared again using the power rule is Bring down 2, copy the variable, and minus 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's it. And then multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 x squared. And then minus 2 times 2 is 4. 4x. Four and then this is the final answer. This is the derivative of the function. Next, we have f of x equals 7x squared plus 2x minus 1. Its derivative, f prime of x, is equal to, again, copy the constant, and differentiate x squared. Its derivative is, again, 2x, and then plus 2. And then for x, 
bring down the coefficient 1. And then we have 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Thus, the derivative of x is equal to 1. And then minus 1, derivative of constant is 0. So we have the final answer is 14x plus 2. Example number 3, we have the function f of x equals square root of x. Here we need to write square root of x in its exponential form. So we will use the rule for radicals we have x raised to n over n is equal to the mth root of x raised to n. Now, following this rule, square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 because 1 is the exponent of the variable inside the radical and the denominator of the exponent is 2 because we have a square root. So we have x raised to 1 half. Then next is to apply the power rule for derivative. Bring down the exponent as a coefficient. Copy the variable. And then minus 1 from the exponent. So 1 half minus 1. This is equal to as it is 2. 2 divided by 2 times 1 is 1. 2 divided by 1 times 1 is 2. So this is equal to negative 1 half. So the exponent is negative 1 half. So now let's simplify this. So this is equal to 1 over 2x raised to 1 half. Or we can write the final answer as 1 over 2 square root of x. So that is the final answer. Next, f of x equals 1 over x cubed. First, we need to write this in its exponential form. So, this is equal to x raised to negative 3. I use the rule for uh, negative exponents. So, that is x raised to a negative power, let's say negative n, is equal to 1 over x raised to n. So now apply the power rule for this given. So we have f prime of x is equal to bring down the exponent as a coefficient, copy the variable, and minus 1 from the exponent. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Okay, and then let's simplify. So we have negative 3 over x raised to 4. Usually, we need to write the exponent as a positive number, positive integer. So we will apply, uh, we need to apply this rule again in simplifying the answer. As a practice, you may try finding the derivative of the following functions and share it in the comment section. So thank you.